So let's solve for our last problem. Sample problem number 3. 2 blocks of food, 50 mm wide and 20 mm thick are glued together. So meron tayong 50 mm wide, 20 mm thick. Using the free body diagram concept, determine the shear load and from it the shearing stress in the glued joint. If P is equals to 6,000 Newton. So, hahanapin natin yung shearing stress na nag-a-occur dito sa glue joint natin. So, meron tayong dalawang wood block. So, we have etong wood block number 1 and wood block number 2. So, pinagdikit natin yung dalawa. So, pinagdikit, pinagdikit natin yung dalawang yon ng glue. So, hinahanap is yung shearing stress dito sa glue joint. So, para mahanap natin yon so, recording yung formula natin for shearing stress. Shearing stress is equals to yung force all over yung area na parallel. So, in this example, meron tayong external force which is equal to 6,000 newton. So, yung hinahanap natin is yung glue joint. Yung glue joint na yun, etong naka-slant na part. So, this will now become our glue joint. So, kunin natin yung area ng glue joint. Tapos, kunin natin yung force na parallel dito sa glue joint natin. So, kung i-consider natin yung force, since eto yung glue joint natin, kailangan yung force acting dito sa glue joint is para dapat siya dun sa area. So, kung i-consider natin yan, yung force natin, magkakaroon tayo dyan ng so, by alternating angles, kung 60 degrees to, therefore, yung kabila is also 60 degrees. So, yung external force pin natin, pwede natin yung i-divide sa dalawa. Since meron tayong 60 degrees dito, eto, sabihin natin that is yung external force tangential at saka yung external force natin na normal. So, mangyayari nyan, etong force natin na tangential siya yung magiging parallel dun sa glue joint natin. So, para mahanap natin yung yung P sub T natin o yung external force tangential is equals to meron tayong P para mahanap natin yung X component niya that is P cosine 60. So, the value of our P is equals to 6,000 cosine etong angle natin with respect dito sa x-axis. So, ang mangyayari niyan is yung magsisilbing x-axis is eto. This will become our x-axis. Tapos, etong nasa taas naman, that will become our y-axis. So, yung magiging plane natin yan is etong glue joint natin. So, 6,000 cosine 16. So, the value of our force tangential is equal to 3,000 newton. Wherein, yung external force tangential natin, that is equal sa V natin sa formula. So, yung pinoproblema na lang natin yan is yung value ng area. Meron na tayong value ng force. Hahanapin na lang natin yung value ng area natin. So, para mahanap natin yung area, so, consider lang natin to. So, yung glue joint natin. Naka-incline yan at a certain degree, which is eto yung 60 degrees natin. So, incline dyan at 60 degrees. So, ulitin lang natin. So, eto yan, 60 degrees. So, dito na tayo mag-base. So, meron tayong thickness which is equals to 20 mm. So, etong part na to that is equal to 
50 mm, hanapin lang natin yung hypotenuse dito. So, that will become, let's say, that is equal to x. Sabihin natin that this part is equal to x. So, consider natin yung maliit na triangle na yun. So, this is 60 degrees. Tapos, eto, that will become yung thickness natin na 20 mm. Tapos, eto yung x natin. So, x, so that will become opposite over over hypotenuse. So, mangyayari, sine 60 is equal to opposite, which is equal to 20, all over x. So, the value of our x is equal to 20, all over sine 60 degrees. <coughs> so, hanapin natin yung area natin. So, yung value ng x natin, eto yan. So, eto yung x natin, tapos yung 50 mm, eto naman. So, eto yung glute joint natin. So, the value of our area. <coughs> so, anahin natin dun sa formula. So, yung V natin is equals to 3,000 newton. So, yung area na lang natin yan. So, that will become 50 multiplied by the value of our x, which is equal to 20 all over sine 60 degrees. So, the value of our shearing stress is now equal to 2.60 mega pascal. So, yun guys, dun sa ano pala natin, sa A natin, no? Meron din tayo, kung meron tayong force P dito, meron din tayong force P dito sa kabila. So, sorry ha. Dun sa solution natin sa A, so meron tayong external force dito, and meron din tayong external force dun sa kabila para mag-stabilize yung material natin. So, for letter B naman, yung gagawin natin is ipuprove natin yung formula na to. So, sabi dito sa formula, yung, shear, yung formula daw, para makuha natin yung shearing stress dito sa glue joint, is equals to P sine 2 theta all over 2A. So, yung sinasabi natin theta dito is eto yun. So, this will be, be eto yung theta natin. And yung area naman natin is eto. Yung area. Area. Yung buong area na to. Yung shaded part. That is our area. And yung P naman natin, yun yung external force natin. So, ipoprove natin na ito yung magiging formula natin para makuha natin yung shear stress dun sa glue joint. So, siyempre, consider muna natin yung free bad diagram natin dito sa isang wood. So, that will become yung meron tayong external force P. Tapos, meron tayong theta dito. So, meaning to say, kung theta to, the value no tet yung angle natin dito is equal to theta so meaning to say since eto yung y axis natin eto yung x axis natin para makuha natin yung force natin external force normal that is equal to p cosine theta kasi nga yung angle natin with respect siya dun sa y axis Next naman, para makuha naman natin yung P tangential natin, that is P sine theta. So, consider naman, consider naman natin is yung area natin. So, yung area natin dito is eto. Etong shaded part, this is our area. So, hahanapin natin is yung area natin na nakapaslan, which is yung glue joint. So, kung hahanap, kung titingnan natin yan, so, mangyayari is eto yung, ano natin ha, eto yung glue joint natin. Tapos, eto yung area natin. 
So, kung titignan ninyo, ito yung area natin. So, kung magka-cut tayo dito, so, kung anong area natin dito, siya yung magsisilbing area natin sa part na to. Or, kung aayusin natin yan, so, yung A na yan, ito yan. So, etong buong to. Tapos, yung area natin, nakapaslant lang siya. So, kung titingnan natin yan, ito yung A natin. Tapos, ito yung nasa glue joint natin. So, let's say yung area natin dito sa glue joint is denoted by letter X. So, yung theta natin nandito. So, that will become adjacent all over hypotenuse. That will become cosine theta is equal to adjacent, which is equal to A, all over X. So, X is equal to A, all over cosine theta. So, gamitin lang natin yung general formula natin na tangent, na shearing stress is equal to V all over A. So, yung shearing stress natin is equal to yung V natin, which is equal sa parallel na force natin yung force natin na parallel dun sa area ng glue joint, which is, which is equal to P sine theta, tapos yung area natin, which is equal to A, all over cosine theta. So, ulitin ko lang, no? Ito yung area natin. So, kung i-reflect lang natin siya dito sa glued part, so, ito yung magsisilbing area. So, nirepresent lang natin dito sa triangle natin that this part, eto yung area tapos yung nakaslant natin eto naman yung area ng glue joint naman which is denoted by x so simplify lang natin so that will become p sin theta cosine theta all over a ngayon di ba yung p sin theta cosine theta so remember sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cosine theta. So, yung mangyayari niyan, para mahanap natin yung value ng sin theta, cosine theta, divide lang natin siya by 2. So, that will become sin 2 theta all over 2 is equal to sin theta cosine theta. So, mangyayari niyan, the value of our shearing stress is equal to is equal to P sine 2 theta all over 2 over A. Kung aayusin natin yan, that is equal to P sine 2 theta all over 2 A. So, this will now become our general formula. So this will be our answer.